Hi everyone! We're going to use the comparison test to determine whether the integral converges or diverges. We're going from 4 to infinity. We have 2 plus cosine of x divided by cube root of x dx. Alright, um, let's choose, um, or let's compare to 4 to infinity for 1 divided by x to the one-third power dx. All right, we have this form given here. So I can write this as the limit as b approaches infinity and replace your infinity with b to 4. I'm going to write this as x to the power of negative one-third dx. Now we can integrate this and we're going to get the limit as b approaches infinity, to integrate this, you're going to get 3 halves x to the um, power of 2 thirds. And we're evaluating this from 4 to b. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to get this equals the limit as b approaches infinity of b to the power of two-thirds minus, um, sorry, to the um, b divided by, um, oh, this is b divided by two-thirds, I was looking at something else, minus four divided by two-thirds. All right, now uh, when you put a large number in here, this is just going to go off to infinity. So this uh, function diverges. Since it diverges, we're looking at what diverges. That's uh, right here. This is f of x. So that means our f of x that diverges has to be smaller than my, this will be called g of x. So we can write this as 1 divided by x to the power of 1 third is less than or equal to 2 plus cos of x divided by x to the power of one-third. Since we have that, um, our g of x only uh, diverges if our f of x does. So that means our integral from 4 to infinity of 1 divided by x to the power of one-third is less than or equal dx. It's less than or equal to uh, 4 to infinity of 2 plus cosine of x divided by x to the power of 1 third dx. All right. Now, um, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.